West Sumatra, Indonesia. It is a popular destination, if not the home, to the Minangkabau people. The land of the Minangkabau people can be traced back to its early history and its unique culture and traditions. A stunning landscape, teeming with lush mountains and large fields of terraced rice paddies. Let me take you on an exciting journey through this fabulous province and indulge in its culinary expertise, magnificent architecture, profound sights, and local crafts. You will leave with a lasting memory of the beauty of a moment of a lifetime that this whimsical place has to offer. Welcome to West Sumatra, Indonesia. For around 100 years ago, my ancestors came from a village known as Pariyaman. It's located in the province of West Sumatra, Indonesia. Now, 2023, me and my family decided to go back and find our roots of where our great-great ancestors were born and raised. This is the birthplace of my great-great-grandmother. She emigrated to Malaya, where it was theorized that there were more opportunities there, especially with the tin mining industry booming and the growth of new cities. However, the sisters of my great-great-grandmother stayed and their children lived in his village until today. Shopping time! West Sumatra is an extravagant escapade to unleash your food craving imagination. Minangkawa cuisine is a must on your bucket list when traveling abroad. A journey that is a distance away from home is incomplete without experiencing the local culinary masterpiece. You'll find a wide range of platters and meals to try, and it will leave a lasting memory for days to come. One way for me to describe the food is that they were made with a garnish of traditional methods, a mixture of spice and herbs, a dash of some sweetness, and the creamy texture of its well-cooked paste and gravy. One plate is not enough, as you will be yearning for more. Exploring this paradise on earth, don't forget to buy merchandise, souvenirs, and gifts to bring back home. Through the stalls and shops, there will be many clothes, shoes, crackers, snacks, and kitchen groceries on display that you can buy here, which is rarely found back home. It is a specialty that the local business owners have in store for you, than no other. You can select and buy from anything that you can grab your hands on. Just make sure that you have good bargaining skills and have enough money in your wallet. The land of the Minangkaba people is indeed wonderful, full of excitement, and it begets curiosity where its people practice a matrilineal custom where women have priority in inheriting assets, live inside and control the Ruma Gadang, and that the family tree grows through the females' names. However, the history of the people was marred by a dismal past. When the Padri War erupted, it was a civil war fought between the Padri faction and the Adad faction. The Padri were a Wahhabi group that returned from Mecca under the leadership of Tuanku Iman Bonjol seeking to abolish the heretical practices of the Adai. With the support of the Dutch, they managed to defeat the Padri, thus the Dutch were able to successfully dominate the Minangkawa people until the independence of the Republic of Indonesia. Now, West Sumatra is a growing tourist hotspot, especially among Malaysians who return back here to rediscover the origins of where their ancestors came from. The Rumah Gadang is a splendor to behold. The house has layered curvature pitch roofs made of straws 
resembling of that of a buffalo. The walls were intricately carved and chiseled from the timbers found in the jungles. As I scrutinized the walls, I appreciated the use of red, green, yellow, and black colors that painted the different geometrical shapes, floral motifs, and religious symbolisms. The interior of the house was spacious, with no rooms, but an entire hall supported by wooden pillars, which allowed for a community to reside here. The ceiling and walls were ornamented with fabric pieced together with shining materials which absolutely dazzled my eyes. When visiting West Sumatra, don't forget to visit Bukit Tinggi, which is a town with a cool temperature due to its elevation. And let's not forget about the iconic clock tower and main square. The town becomes more livelier at night with its bright, colorful lights. West Sumatra will always have a meaningful place in my heart as a long lost home that I never knew where my ancestors lived. Now it is a place that I proudly call as my own. Hopefully I'll get a chance to come here again and preserve my traditions and heritage.